Hi folks, welcome to our uh, devotional Bible study today. Today we're going to be looking at Isaiah 41 verses 8 to 9, 43 verse 10 and 44 verses 1 to 2. Let me read them to you. But you, O Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners. I called you. I said, you are my servant. I've chosen you and have not rejected you. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor will there be one after me. But now listen, Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen, this is what the Lord says, he who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant, Jeshurim, whom I have chosen. Let's pray. Father, when we read your word together, as ever, we pray that you fill us and our thinking and our hearing and our hearts with your spirit so that we can draw the life out of your word and really understand what you had to say to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, the servant of the Lord, Isaiah 42, 19 and 54, 1 to 7, is a major theme in Isaiah with 31 specific references in the book. Israel was chosen to be the Lord's servant. You are my servant who I am chosen, says God in verses 8 to 9, Isaiah 43, 10 and 44, 1 to 2. What does it mean to you when God says to you, you are my servant? Who are you that God should give you such an honour? Do you feel humbled? It's significant that all the 31 references to the servants of the Lord are found only in Isaiah 40 to 66. Despite suffering exile for their covenant unfaithfulness, Israel remained chosen by God to be his servant. What an example of God's grace. However, Israel cannot be the Lord's servant. There are two servants of the Lord in Isaiah 40 to 66. Israel is a nation collectively and a unique individual who is mentioned in the five servant songs. Although Israel was chosen, they could not be the ideal servant that God demanded. Only that unique servant can be God's ideal. My servant Israel, in Isaiah 49.3, who must bear and die for the sins of Israel, Isaiah 53, so that Israel can be the Lord's servant. It's a weird circle of truth. That unique servant, though, is Jesus Christ. Mark 10, 45, 1 Peter 2, 21 to 25. What was true about Israel is also true about us as servants of God in Christ. We are his servants, but we need to be saved by the one unique servant, Jesus Christ. I do have some questions for application and for thought and perhaps journaling. The first one, what observations can you make about Israel as the servant of the Lord in verses 8 to 9 and in Isaiah 43 verse 10 and 44 verse 1 to 2? Secondly, what does it mean to you to know that God has chosen you to be his servant? Let's pray. Father, thank you for your words and thank you for your grace. Thank you for your servant Jesus, who died and allowed us to fulfill our roles to be your servant. Father, help us to be faithful servants and to do your will according to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. I hope that you have a really good rest of the day.